Namaste everyone. Welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our chest. The reason why I'm talking a little bit fast is because I'm really excited for today's workout. And yeah, that's about it. And I realize I'm taking too much of your time in terms of introducing what I'm going to do. So let's straight away jump in. The routine is simple, dynamic stretching, warm up, and our working sets followed by static stretches. So let's go, let's begin our day. Let's begin with our dynamic stretching. The easiest, the greatest, the greatest stretch. We have been doing this every day. I feel a lot of improvement in my mobility, in my flexibility. Love this exercise. Just going to shift a little bit. I'm going to do it five times on each side, just to ensure that we unlock our entire body well. If you are still find this particular stretch a bit challenging. Let me take this particular repetition a little bit slow for people who are still finding it a bit challenging. One knee down, one leg up. Take your other hand, place it down firmly. Now slowly push a leg which is on your knee as far as possible, feeling a stretch on your inner thigh. And once it is as far as possible, now squeeze your blue glutes and your hamstrings to get it straight. Once it's straight, I'm sorry, squeeze your quadriceps to get it straight and your glutes squeeze. Once it's straight, take your arm and push it under the other one and then rotate up. Feel the stretch on your upper back and relax. Simple. If you're still progressing with the exercise, you don't have to do the rotation. Just practice getting on your threes and taking the leg back, squeezing it up, holding there for some time, dropping it, switching sides. Once you have mastered this portion, you can then try reaching in and rotating. So that would be easier. If you feel any kind of tightness in any muscle in a particular spot, I always tell this, use foam rolling to release the tension. If you don't have a foam roller, you can use your hands. If you have a massage gun, you can use that. So any kind of massage to release tension from the area is good. So we are done with our one unique or the special stretch. Let's move on for our warm up. For my warm up, I'm going to do the usual chest flies on the machine which is available with me. If you have a cable crossover machine or the cable machine with you, please do the exercise on the cable machine. If you have this particular machine set up, you can do it on this one. The action is basically bringing your arms towards the midline of your body and that is majorly done by your chest muscles. It's a job of your chest muscle to move your arm towards the midline of your body. So by doing this as a warm up, you are basically making our muscles work, get blood flowing there and get ready for the weight lifting. So let's go. Simple. I, I just loaded a little bit of weight, not much challenging, just to provide, get me a little bit of resistance. That's it. We're going to do up to 20 repetitions. Make sure when you're close by, you squeeze your chest together. Feel that contraction. Feel that effort which your chest has to make to get the hands into the midline of your body. I'm going to do 20 reps. A 
I'm sorry. <laughs> Just whenever I try to squeeze hard, I touch the bars. <sighs> Done. Remember to keep breathing when you're doing the exercise. Don't hold your breath. You might feel a little bit out of breath once done with the warm up. My chest feels my chest feels a little bit warm, so that's been effective. Now let's go for our second warm up. For our second warm up, we are going to do one set of decline bench press. If you don't have a decline bench, you can use a flat bench press for your warm up. So it's pretty simple. You want a decline bench, take a couple of light dumbbells and then take a position where you can push them efficiently as powerfully as possible and then bring them together towards the midline of your body. During every push, remember to squeeze your chest together, feel the contraction. there, few more reps. If you feel your tricep getting activated, that's absolutely normal. That's because the tricep is helping you push the weight up too. And that's it. Done with our warm-ups. Now take a really short break, 30 to 60 seconds, and then we begin with our working sets. So for my first exercise, I'm going to do inclined bench press. I've taken a challenging weight. I hope for you too to take a challenging weight. And let's begin. Push up. Get your shoulders down, chest up. Keep your elbows a bit closer, not completely wide out. Wrist absolutely straight. And push. Ooh, those 10 reps were quite a task. I had to drop the dumbbell because I had no more energy left. That was good. Now we take a short break and go for our second set. Go for our second set. I have dropped the weight a little bit. That's fine. These dumbbells are still heavy. Let's go. 12 repetitions is the target. Good. My triceps are really kicking in. I, because of the amount of weight I'm trying to push, if that's the same thing with you, it's absolutely fine. Triceps will kick in because you're trying to push the weight up above. But try to focus on your chest contractions. And one thing I can assure you, the movement from here till here is mostly done by your chest because bringing your arm towards the midline of your body done by your chest. Just make sure your arms are not wide out here because here there's more of shoulders than chest. Your chest are at a stretch. By the time you come here, the tension is almost lost. Make sure your elbows are a bit closer to your body. The dumbbells are in line with your nipples. And then from here, the wrist remains straight. You push up towards the midline of your body. Let the dumbbells touch each other and come back. So we take a short break, go for our third set. So for our third set, I drop the weight again a little bit from 
17 kilos, I came down to 15. And keep my elbows together, my wrist straight, chest up, and push. The last one was really tough. My chest is absolutely tired. If you see, I have been just dropping the dumbbells because in my gym, the floor is padded, the dumbbells are padded, so it's absolutely fine. If that's not the case in your gym, make sure if you can have a yoga mat or a cushion so that you're able to drop the dumbbells safely. Otherwise, you can just stop here, slowly take the dumbbells towards your hips, and once you are relaxed, caught your breath, put them down one at a time. We're done with this exercise. Now let's go for our next exercise after a couple of minutes. For our second exercise, we are going to do chest flies. We have done this in our warm up. Setup is similar. Make sure the bar is set up just. Uh, at your shoulder height and when you're wide open your chest is at a stretch so that when you come you have the maximum amount of contraction I have loaded a challenging weight and let's see where it goes from here so let's go 12 repetitions is our target two three four five six seven Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That felt good. I think I can take the weight up a little bit more. We are going to take shorter breaks because I don't see a reason why we have to wait for a couple of minutes between a uh, machine assisted exercise. So after 30 seconds, we go for our second set. Let's go for our second set. I bumped up the weight a little bit. So you can do the same. And let's go. One. Yep, good contractions. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oof. Last few reps, I felt it really challenging. My upper pec was all fired up. So that was a good set. Again, short break, and we go for our third set. For our third set, have the weight increased a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. Oh, that was really challenging and we are done with this exercise. Now, to move on to the next exercise, you really don't have to take a break because we'll be trailing an entirely different muscle. So what I'm going to do is just shift the camera a little bit behind so you can see that we're going to now start doing our donkey calf raises. So, no break required. You don't have to spend time in between these two exercises. You can immediately shift and start with our calf raises. Again, we're going for failure or near failure repetitions. Here, by failure, I mean 
wherein your calf feels extremely tight and you are no more able to push your heels up range of motion is compromised i'm really not counting my repetitions I'm just trying to feel my calves do the work uh, you're almost tight and i'm done so now we we'll take a short break and go for our second set. So for our second set, my calves are still a bit tight, but that's fine. We are here to push. So let's go one, two. Let me stop counting my repetitions because I'm just going to go till failure. that's it I'm done ouch that felt tough so calves are pretty worked up now we are done with uh, calf work our regular calf work now let's move on to our third exercise so for, so for the third fifth exercise we're going to do decline bench press we did this in our warm-up taking a challenging weight and let's start without any delay Make sure your chest is up. Ouch, my calves are a bit tired. But that's okay. We're going to work our chest. So let's go. One, two. I'm going to count my reps. Let's just keep pushing till I reach my 12th rep. That felt challenging. So now I can show you if you are on decline setup and you want to keep your dumbbells safely, stop like this. Get your dumbbells onto your body and slowly one dumbbell at a time. You can drop that. You don't have to get up the dumbbells because you are already at a decline angle that would put unnecessary stress on your lower back while you try to get up. We are done with our set one. We'll take a short break and go for our set two. Let's go for our second set. I bump the weight a little bit. It's feeling constant. Chest up.
slipping out. Oh, almost there. Well, good. Just that. Calluses started giving up. Otherwise, good. Now let's move on to our static stretches. Let's go for our static stretches. I am using the Bosu ball which I have. Unfortunately, I don't have a uh, almost weightless or negligible weight long stick. But this size of the Bosu ball seems fine. So I'm just going to keep both, both my hands at the widest points of the ball. I'm going to lay down comfortably. Hold the ball and slowly take it over my head. Feel my chest stretch. That's a wrap. Thank you for joining me again. Uh, if you liked the video and you have enjoyed your workout, the workout was pretty simple. We did three sets of three exercises, simply to build strength in our chest, get it, get a lot of blood flowing there, and finished off with a static stretch to get uh, to make our chest go back to its neutral length. So, yes, if you did enjoy the workout, please do like it. If you have any feedback, drop a comment. If you haven't yet subscribed. I request you please do subscribe it gives me a lot of positive feedback in terms of pushing myself uh, the reason why today's workout is short because today's workout was entirely focused on trying to lift uh, heavy and be a little bit explosive so if that's not the case wherein you couldn't lift heavier you were still sticking to the weights where you started a couple of weeks back that's absolutely fine you have nothing to worry about it's a building process take your time go through the movement and feel your muscles contract every repetition that's more important than lifting heavier weights on that note thank you so much for joining me i'll see you tomorrow have a good evening